Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Hey, let's check out chat search on Bing, and I want to figure out, let's compare and contrast ESP8266, ESP32, ESP32C3, and we're going to check out ESP32S3 as well. Okay, so you can see the ESP32 kind of in the middle here. Yeah, 8266 has Wi-Fi but no BLE. ESP32, Wi-Fi, BLE 4.2, there's some limitations, but the C3 has the BLE 5.0 available. Obviously, ESP32 has the most pins out of the out of these options. And, I, I yeah, as far as ADC and DAC, there's a lot of options. The ESP32 C3 is a RISC-V single-core chip. We'll talk about RISC-V a little bit later. So here are the differences. ESP8266 is single core, and ESP32 is dual core. C3 is single core, risk v Okay, ESP8266 has less RAM, does not support Bluetooth. ESP8266 does not have an Ethernet interface. ESP32 has an Ethernet interface? I didn't know that. Uh, ESP8266 does not have cryptographic acceleration. Hey, this is cool. Let's check out this link here. Yeah, look for the link in the description down below. This is a great comparison of all of the various ESP <laughs> products. So I think this is worth. This was worth uh, the whole effort so far. So I'm, I'm actually very happy to stumble across here. You can see when each of these was introduced. Okay, yeah. So here I go ahead and toss in the S3 comparison. One of the things I noticed on the C3 is it had more cryptographic capabilities on the C3. Now the S3 goes back to this LX7 dual core instead of the RISC-V chip. Okay, it's got the BLE 5.0 as the advantage there. And it does have more cryptographic capabilities. Or does it? Is that column just narrower? <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. ESP S32. I didn't know there was an ESP32 S2. So, we're going to want, want to check all this out. Okay, single core versus dual cores for uh, 8266 versus 32 and 32 S3. Less RAM on the 8266. No Bluetooth. I still don't know about that Ethernet interface on ESP32. Okay. ESP32 S3 has a USB host interface. I guess that means it can mimic a keyboard and mouse when attached to your computer. Okay. And, you know, using this chat search, it gives you uh, different options for additional questions. So you can continue to dig deeper. Obviously, you click on which one's cheaper. We know which one's cheaper, most likely. But... I thought I'd ask the question anyway. Yeah, 8266 is generally cheaper, according to some sources. I like <laughs> it returned it in, in RMBs. You know, some of the advantages of the C3, that single core RISC chip, is more powerful, if more power efficient. We should have asked that question when we had the C3 selected, because the C3 with the RISC V chip would probably tend to be more power efficient. That's interesting. ESP32 has lower power consumption than the ESP8266. They're assuming that the S3 would be similar to the ESP32. Fair enough. What else do we want to talk about? Which one's easier to program? Hey, that's a fair question, isn't it? Answer may depend on your personal preference. Generally speaking, the 8266 is easier to program, a simpler architecture, and fewer features. Larger and more mature community of developers. More support and examples. It's been out since 2014, so yeah, I guess that's true. ESP32 and ESP32S3 have more potential and flexibility for developing more sophisticated and diverse applications. Well, what is RISC-V? 
RISC-V is reduced instruction set computer principles. Okay, and it's royalty free where the other ones you need to license. It's open source, essentially. Yeah. Reduced instruction set computer is an ISA design philosophy. Okay. What are the disadvantages of RISC? Performance of the processor depends on the programming. Compilers need to break down high-level instructions into minimally simpler instructions, which can increase the code size. Processor may spend much time waiting for the first instruction. Yeah, so it's really up to the programmer, the programming language, your compiler. Okay, so if it's not RISC-C, then it's got to be CISC-C. So C I S. CISE, Complex Computer Instruction Set. So RISC is a single operation per clock cycle where CISC has larger instruction sets that run over several clock cycles. But they're capable of carrying out multiple operations. So a reduced instruction set computer code is just one instruction for one clock cycle, whereas uh, CISC-based processors may take several clock cycles to complete each instruction, RISC tends to give better performance and improved energy efficiency. So examples of CISC processors are the common AMD and Intel chips we're familiar with. And if you're into Raspberry Pi, you know about ARM chips. And that those are RISC processors. ARM, MIPS, PowerPC, and Spark. I haven't heard <laughs> MIPS, PowerPC, and Spark in a while. Anyway, I hope that was educational for you. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.